Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm going to show you some DIYs. I'm going to show you how I did this beautiful tear tray and also some Christmas DIYs. So let's get started. So I started off with these scrap woods. I had some wood laying around. So I just started to cut them in the right size. And then I took some wooden glue and glued them all together. And then I had some thinner pieces of wood, so I cut them as well to the right size. And these are going to be the sides of this, like the sides. <laughs> and I glued it and I nailed it as well. And I did two pieces of these, one a little bit bigger and one a little bit smaller. And then I took my shock paint in I think it's antique white and I just started to paint this back side. I felt like the, there were some edges that was not like even so I took this, I think it's like a spackler and it's just like a very quick and easy way to just even out the edges. And then I just painted the two pieces all white with this chalk paint and also you can see the round pieces that is going to be like the stand that's gonna hold these two pieces up uh, in top of each other and I painted that also in this white color. And then I wanted to look a little bit distressed, so I took the uh, chalk paint in this dark color, it's a gray color actually, and I just dry brushed it. I just made sure that I didn't have that much on the brush, so I just tapped it off a little bit before I went in, and I went through the edges and also a little bit at top of every piece. These small pieces here are going to be like the feet of this tear tray. And I also did this dry brush technique in all the pieces of this tear tray. And then I had my husband to help me to drill a hole <laughs> and put this thing together. I haven't learned to drill. Uh, I am going to learn that because I do want to try it, but I didn't want to do it the first time with this tear tray <laughs> if I was to ruin it. So he's helping me here just to drill a hole and just put the screws in so we can have it nice and secured.
And then I'm going to take the feet and these are going to be four feet so I'm just taking the glue again this is the wooden glue and I'm just going to glue them actually uh, on place and then I have the small piece that is this rounded piece that I'm going to put in top of everything and this is also just going to be glued And then I'm actually going to take a finishing wax. You don't have to do this, but I feel like I want to do this. This will seal like the paint. You don't have to worry about water, getting water in top of this or because chalk paint is like, you can't have any water on it. So you have to seal it. So uh, that's why I did this. So here's the finish to your tray. What do you think guys? So for this next product, I'm going to do this hot cocoa sign. So I have this tray here that I bought and yeah, this is just a tray. You can use it as a tray, but I'm going to use it as a sign. So I'm going to flip it and I'm going to measure it and I'm going to use my Cricut machine and I have saved some beautiful pictures and I have this hot cocoa sign. I'm just going to cut it in this red vinyl. This is removable vinyl. You can also use uh, permanent vinyl, but I just had this uh, this removable. It, I had a little bit of struggle. You can see there was a lot of letters and this one just <laughs> came out and it was not supposed to do that. So I had to try to uh, get it back and it was quite hard, uh, I will tell you. So now I'm just struggling here and but here we go. <laughs> Now I'm just placing this at the tray where I want it and doing the same process as I always do with the transfer tape. So I'm just gonna place it and I'm just gonna like use this little tool here so we can make sure that it's gonna stay on this sign when I remove this transfer tape. And now I do want to have it a little bit distressed, so I like to do that. So I have a brown and a black, just regular acrylic paint. And I'm taking this like a sponge kind of tool and I'm just going to go around the edges very like lightly and just make sure that it looks like it's a little bit more rough, a little more distressed and it looks a little bit older because it's white and I want it to look a little more like old like an old sign and I'm also going through like not just edges like on the top as well very very lightly and here is the finished sign and tell me down below what do you think about this I love this I'm gonna have this in my kitchen this year I'm gonna have a hot cocoa bar and yeah I think it looks very very pretty this next product is very very cute this looks like three books stacked together so I have a scrap piece of wood three pieces here that I'm going to paint and I'm painting them all with the chalk paint in antique white I think it's antique white but yeah so I'm just painting this and this idea I got from Liz Moore decal and decor I will link her down below I know I saw another creator do this so but I couldn't remember but this here I'm doing the same process. I'm taking my sponge, I'm taking the brown and the black acrylic paint and I'm just going around the edges so it's gonna look a little more older and yeah I'm just taking it a little bit on the top as well just on one of these because you're just gonna see one uh, in top. And then I have cut out from on my Cricut machine I mean Merry Farmhouse and Christmas and these I'm gonna put on like the size here of these books.
So now I'm just gonna stack them together. So I'm get, taking some hot glue and I'm gluing them together so they are uh, nice and secured. And then I wanted to do something like like a ribbon. So I have this very neutral ribbon. I'm just hot glue this together. And then I'm taking this ribbon right here because I wanted some more color and I like this is like a candy cane theme on this ribbon. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm just hot gluing this one on top of the other one. And then I want some greenery. So I have this pick that I picked up from, I think it was a dollar store here in Sweden. So I just took some greenery and some red berries and this I'm just gonna hot glue it on top of everything. So it's very, very easy to do this. I'm just hot gluing it and let it sit for a while. And then I'm taking these berries and hot glue them on top of this greenery. And here I have done a little like shoelace bow with this twine and I'm just putting it, uh, yeah, you can see where I put it, just like the finishing touch. So here is how it looks and I think it looks very, very gorgeous. What do you think? For my next project, I am doing these small houses. I think they're super cute and I had some <laughs> wood again, some scrap wood. I just cut them so they look like small houses, three of them, and one of them I'm painting red. And this is just acrylic paint, guys, so it's nothing special at all. It's just the paint I had at home right now. So I took this one and just painted this house all red. And for the other two, I took a brown paint. I don't know exactly what kind of paint this is, but yeah, I'm just painting this. We have a lot of paint because we have just moved. So we have a lot of paint in the basement and I found this one. And I also took my chalk paint in antique white and I just dry brush all the houses so this kind of looks like snow so I think it looks very very cute so I just did this with all the three houses And then I had some bells. These were actually bright, bright gold, very shiny. I actually took the white chalk paint and just painted them. And here I'm gonna take the Mod Podge and this is the matte one and I'm just gonna take, I have just cut out from a scrapbook uh, paper, this little sign here in paper. So I'm just gonna take some of this Mod Podge underneath this one so it just sticks like a glue to the red house. And for these I'm gonna take some greenery from that pick I had from before and I'm just gonna cut some small pieces and then I'm just gonna hot glue them on top of each house.
And for the bells, look at these. They look like rustic and what I did, I took the acrylic paint in brown and a little bit, I think red, and I just took that sponge and I just dotted on top of that and it looks actually really pretty and I had some red berries as well and I took the bell and the berries and I just hot glue them uh, in the middle of this greenery. So here are the houses finished. I think they look gorgeous. They're gonna look so good in our home this Christmas. Next DIY is this sign, this Christmas tree with the trunk and the bottle brush trees. So I just took one of these again, these trays here and I had some bottle brush trees I have bought a lot this year, so I took three of them out and I had this beautiful like picture of this trunk and I just cut them out in this Cricut machine and I had the green here, the green tree and all of the other things are black. So what I do, I have cut out a square on each like uh, this with this trunk and also on the green tree. So I can actually put these together so they're gonna match. You're gonna see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna take some transfer tape and I'm gonna try to put them as they are going to be. You don't have to be very specific in this um, <laughs> right now, but I'm just gonna take the green first. So as I said, you have this small square, uh, as you can see, and I'm just gonna take this one on the transfer tape, and then when we are all done with that, you are gonna pull this out and you're gonna put it on that trunk but you're gonna see at the square so the squares are gonna be like on top of each other and it actually gonna measuring good with the trunk so I think you saw what I did but now I'm gonna put these uh, bottle brush trees so I'm just gonna see where they're gonna go on this sign And then I'm just taking some hot glue and just glue them uh, where I want them. And now I'm gonna do this again with the acrylic paint, the black and the brown, and we're gonna take the sponge again, and you know the drill, we're gonna dry like not dry brush, yeah, kind of dry br brush it, but with the sponge that I absolutely love. I think it looks so good to get like this distressed like edges and I feel like it is fun to do this as well. I don't know what it is. It just looks so good in my opinion. It looks a little bit rustic. It doesn't look that brand new. So here we have the finish result of the sign. I really, really love this one. It's very neutral, it's very easy, and it was really, really fun to do. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and I see you in my next video.